Welcome back. Hello my friends. It's been 10 months since I've been doing a film clip and that's because we've been in chaos now. The mines worldwide are very disturbed and it's very difficult to do sensitive energy work. We're going to work today with a pendulum and I call this video Beyond Translation because this is a geomantic experiment to see actually that there is no relationship or even resemblance to reality. And so we're going to inquire with this tool, it's an energy frequency measurement tool, about questions related to the past and to the present, what was going on, what happened, what the situation is now. And then we will even there ask questions into the future. So I am new to this technique, I'm an astrologer, I can do astrology practically in my sleep, I know the runes very well, I have even designed my own tarot deck, so I know that by heart. This is very very different, this is the most precise, most simple and advanced tool that humanity has really put on the map, this is probably thousands, tens of thousands of year old technology, very very smart. And it works, I would say at about a 95% rate. And that is not something that people can easily do with whatever tools they use. So before we get started, I always ask the pendulum for permission. But can we actually work together today? Let's ask, can we work together today? Yes, that's a yes. Clockwise is yes, so you can always see what it says. Clockwise is yes and counterclockwise is no. Very rarely the pendulum will just stand still, plump to us. That means probably it's not giving an answer or it's not um, moving in the direction of the energy. Very rarely it goes around any which way, which means it's an electromagnetic field not working. One thing I would like to explain briefly, there are a lot of People who may not understand how this works, and I didn't understand in the beginning either until I learned from a master of the pendulum, an energy master. It's very simple. Imagine if you put this on a nail and hung it onto a beam, and then you stand away and you go talk to it, and I say, uh, Was I born in Switzerland? Nothing's gonna happen. The moment the pendulum is in your hand, it connects into the energy field because humans, anything that's alive, humans, cats, animals, water, trees, is electric, electric field, electromagnetic field. And the moment the pendulum moves or connects into the field, it kind of activates. So it really reads ourselves and we then are connected from the stars into the telluric energy below. So it's just to explain briefly how it works or how at least I think it is working. And as Krishnamurti always said, this is the famous axiom, because people used to ask him a lot of questions and they thought like he was a pendulum or something. And he always said, you know what, the answer is in the question. All right, let's go. All of these questions I'm going to ask today are things that you ask me, people, friends who follow my work on Twitter at newmy 99 or on YouTube have asked me over the last 10 months a lot of questions about the situation. The situation worldwide has many, many facets, full spectrum, the election in the US, the consequences of it in America, the situation now in America, the situation with the virus warfare, the vaccine, the situation in China, the situation in Europe. I mean, tons of questions. So, was I born in Switzerland? Yes, okay, <clears throat> that means we can roll. Was Donald J. Trump born in the United States of America? In New York? Yes. Do you remember I told you that there were going to be delays and litigation in my last video? I said based on astrology, delay, Saturn, Mercury, square, and litigation. So we are now eight months after the election and we are in delay and litigation. 
did more than 80 million Americans legally vote for Donald J. Trump? Yes. Was Biden elected President of the United States? No. It's interesting, huh? Clements once said, the famous prophet, he passed away, that there would at some point be two presidents. It was his way of explaining it, but let's see. Are there two presidents in the United States at this moment, in 2021? Yes. Let's go more precise. <clears throat> Is President Trump regarded by some higher specialist militaries as their commander-in-chief? Yes. So you see, this is the complexity that an astrologer cannot really read very precisely, a tarot deck could not show it, runes could possibly say a few things, but it would be very vague and speculative, whereas this will simply say yes or no. Let's ask a few other questions that you ask me, completely unrelated and universal questions. By the way, today's solstice, summer solstice of 2021. So I thought this is a, it's an interesting day to do this kind of exercise. Again, it's a geomantic experiment beyond translation. It's an inquiry into reality. Was there a Big Bang? No. That answers the question somebody asked me what there was before Big Bang. Is there God? Yes. Are there extraterrestrials? Yes. Do clones exist? Yes. Do some extraterrestrials create clones? Yes. Is Joe Biden a clone? Yes. Is President Trump a clone? No. Is President Putin a clone? No. Does reincarnation exist? Yes. Can cats reincarnate? Yes. Can a cat reincarnate as a human? Yes. Can an extraterrestrial reincarnate as a human? Ah, this is interesting. You see here? This says yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So I guess some extraterrestrial can, others cannot. Can a human reincarnate as an extraterrestrial? Yes. Now, let's try to go into future type questions, other types of questions. Is CERN that is the Centre Européen de Recherche Nucléaire, an extraterrestrial installation. Yes, that's a very strong yes. When the pendulum goes on an amplitude like this, you can even quantify a yes or a no. That's a very powerful yes. That installation in Geneva, where President Putin met the clone, is actually an experiment into time travel. I mean, we, we can ask very precise. Is CERN a time portal? Yes. 
Is the purpose of the study at CERN time travel? Yes. The reason I always touch it is because I like plumb to us first so that we have neutrality to be in. Am I in contact with extraterrestrials? Yes. Does President Trump use astrology? No. Is President Trump in contact with extraterrestrials? Yes. Did his uncle John Trump, the famous scientist, teach Donald J. Trump certain of his secrets? Yes. You know, I research many prophets to see what's going on in the future, what they said in the past, whether what they said came true, and so on. It's an interesting inquiry into reality. So I looked at what that prophet Clement said. I like his work. He passed away now. I looked at Edgar Casey, Robert Monroe, whom I studied, and I checked their work with the pendulum. So I'm going to skip it now because it's very long each time to do this. And all I can tell you is Clement has been okay by this pendulum. So is Edgar Casey, and so is Robert Monroe. Titor had discuss his narrative, what I call the Tito timeline, and briefly going into the future, the question is simply are some of the United States, states US, going to create an extraordinary solution? And the answer is yes, because the initial question was always is there going to be secession? Will there be secession in the United States? No. You see, there's not going to be secession. Does this then mean logically, well, then everything stays the same? The status quo is what it is, and will the status quo, Washington, D.C., remain forever the same? And it says no. So, will there be an extraordinary solution or what I would call a third way. Will there be an other way to come out of this crisis? Yes. So then the question is, what could that be? Would it be possible, for instance, that some states will join and create their own new union based on the old constitution? It says yes. And this is what's going on right now when you look at what certain states are arguing against the Department of Justice. So this is practically never been seen in all of history that you have states of the United States going into lawsuits, litigation, with the Department of Justice about the audit. So will this election audit take place? Yes, it's going to take place. Let's ask a few other quick political questions, again starting in the past going through the situation now in the present and then the future. First of all, I would like to know, did the Scottish people vote for independence to leave the United Kingdom and join Europe? The answer is yes. Okay, so you remember what um, the result was and now you've seen what the pendulum said. Let's go to Catalonia. Did the Catalan people in a referendum vote to leave Spain and join the European Union? It says also yes. Will Scotland in the future at some point leave the UK and join the European Union? Yes. <clears throat> Will Catalonia in the future at some point leave Spain and join the European Union? Yes. I'd like to know about some French situations briefly. Was Macron elected by a majority of French people in May 2017? A flat no. 
was Marine Le Pen, elected by the majority of the French people in May 2017? Yes. Future question. Less than a year from now, there will be the French election taking place, presidential election, and the question is again, will Macron be elected by the French people in majority to be their president? Answer, no. Will Marine Le Pen be elected by a majority of French voters to be their president? Yes. Well, that comes a tricky question because I've learned you have to ask the third question, which is really who will go into the Elysee Palace, never mind who was elected, right? Will Marine Le Pen go to the Elysee Palace as president of France? Yes, says yes. Let's do the checking question backwards. Will Macron go into the Elysee Palace as president in May 2022? No. Did a majority of people in the United Kingdom vote for Brexit? No. I have an interesting question. Did Nostradamus use a pendulum in his professional work? Yes. You see, this is the thing. I know that a lot of professionals use pendulums. Architects use it for the design. Builders, construction people, real estate developers will choose on the land what is good to build on or not. I even know a doctor, a medical doctor, who uses this tool for diagnostics and for other purposes that he has to work very, very precisely. And I also know lawyers who use this pendulum tool for their professional work. Um, here's a question I was asked. Some of you watch Maria Zak talking to Doug Billings. Doug Billings has now pretty much replaced the famous, famous podcast star, Rush Limbo. So here's the question. Is it correct to say that Maria Zak is telling Doug Billings the truth? Yes. About the vaccines and the virus warfare, I would like to ask a very short series of questions. Is it correct that Dr. Fauci funded gain-of-function experiments at the Wuhan Institute of Virology? Yes. <clears throat> Was the virus that causes COVID-19 released in the laboratory in Wuhan? Yes. Was it released in 2019? Yes. Are the Western vaccines effective? No. Is Sputnik vaccine effective? Yes. And now finally, to end it, I would also like to ask a question about astrology, this pendulum can measure astrology because as I said, it's interdimensional. It goes through, you know, the whole spectrum of reality. Is it correct to say that in 2024 to 2027, there is a phase where Saturn Neptune go conjunct, Saturn passing Neptune over a three year period, correct. Is it correct to say that this Saturn-Neptune alignment speaks to us about reality meeting surreality. Are we going to be in a world between the worlds, so to speak? Yes. Is it also about ideologies that are meeting structure, time? Space, yes. Will we during that time 
begin to see a new cosmology. Are we going to learn about the paranormal? Yes. One last question I was asked, I forgot. Were lockdowns, are lockdowns, the correct way to handle a pandemic? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So you see, the Venetians had pandemics sometimes and they had to do certain things, so they would just put the sick people away on an island. Are we going to continue to struggle with pandemics? Are we in a virus warfare, as I explained last year in a video? Yes, that's correct. Is the earth flat? No. Does the sun rise east? Yes. So I think we can say that we've received a series of answers to all of our inquiries into reality and I don't have an opinion on the answers he gave. This is the pendulum speaking back through me and I have a great surprise. After this solstice we're going to speak with a person I deem one of the most experienced masters of energy. You know him, it's our old friend Kim Castells and we're going to meet him and ask him more questions and he's going to talk to us about all of it. And I can talk to him in French, in Spanish, in English. He understands it all. He can talk back to us in multiple languages, which is why I said to begin with, this tool, ancient tool, it is the armed translation.